Welcome back bitches. So today I'm going to start with this foundation which is a lot lighter than my skin. Well it's actually not that much lighter than my skin but it's lighter than what I normally wear. So I look like a ghost which is kind of what we want for this look. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows and just fill those in. I'm also going to define my eyebrows and sharpen them, which is like my favourite thing in the world because you want your eyebrows to be sharp enough to kill a little liar. So now I'm going to start with the base of my lids and you want to look like you've been awake all night planning the demise of four dolls. So I'm going to add this to begin with around my eyes so they look sunken in and sultry. And then I'm going to set that with this eyeshadow. So I'm just going to feather those edges nice and softly because when we start adding the darker colours it's going to be a lot more difficult to get that nice even blend. So now I'm going to go with this light colour just to brighten up and highlight my brow bone. And I'm also going to highlight the inner corners as well. So now I'm going to start adding my darker colours. So my grey to begin with, I'm going to take onto the lid and feather into the crease. And this is a lighter grey. And then I'm going to start to take a darker grey and do the exact same thing and just deepen up the eyes. So now I'm going to line my tight line with Black Track from MAC. And I'm going to take it right into the inner corners and a little bit on my upper lash line as well. Upper lash line? Yeah and just blend that out nice and soft. This is going to be really good for when we put false lashes on and just make sure the look is really deep and dark and there's no skin peeking through. So now I'm going to use my Super Shock Gel Liner Pencil from Avon and this thing is absolutely amazing. It's so good. It stays and it's so black. So I'm going to add this underneath and I'm going to get that in between every single lash. And then just going to blend that out with some of the greys and start to deepen properly with my black matte shadow. So I'm going to take this onto the eyes and you can see it's starting to create that line effect and we don't want that, we want that to be really soft so I'm going to spend my time here really blending that to make sure that there's no harsh line. So now I'm going to go into the cream white shadow again and just use it along those edges where we're feathering that black just to help blend it even further. And you can see I'm taking a clean, fluffy brush and just blending and also taking a bit of that light brown and doing whatever I can to make that as soft as possible. So now I'm going to conceal all my secrets and lies and conceal under my eyes. Because we need to keep up appearances. We don't want to look like we've been awake all night. So now I'm going to go back in again and just soften up that line of the shadow and set my under eyes and the rest of my skin and this is really good using this foundation brush because you can really like um, fix those edges of your eyeshadow so now I'm going to go and highlight a little bit on the lids add a bit of glam to our look because Mona is glamorous and now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and this fan brush is actually a uh, nail brush so now I'm going to contour chisel those cheekbones and I'm just going to sharpen under there with my face powder because I ain't messing around and then I'm just going to contour the rest of my face so my hairline, my temples and my nose so now for blush I still want to look sweet so I'm going to be using Entertain by Tarte and then highlighting with Light Scapade over the top For my lipstick, I'm going to use this gorgeous deep red and I'm just going to map out the colour that I want to begin with. Um, rub my lips together and then use a little brush to help 
sharpen and fill out those edges how I want them to be and then over the top of that I'm going to add my nice deep purple colour and this is by Pure and this is a lip lacquer because Mona's lips have a nice shine to them I'm going to curl my lashes I've added false ones too by the way add some mascara to the top and to the bottom of course and go in with that liner again just to make sure we've not lost any of the black and add my highlight in the inner corners so thank you so much for watching you're ready to go out and slay as the super villain of Rosewood High <laughs> don't forget to thumbs this video up and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with my latest videos until then I'm watching you You can find me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, all at Meteor Sprite. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. You can view previous videos by clicking the links below. Until next time, mwah!